Hurry, although this group of people have turned into zombies, they still maintain their pre-birth odds. For example, this commuter has maintained the habit of taking the underground. This woman frantically pulling on the mall door. Once a shopaholic, this man is even more bizarre. He was a high jumper before he was born, and he just kept practicing jumping every day and then fell heavily to the ground. He came to find his girlfriend to escape, but how to knock on the door? No one answered. Through the door, Yamamoto saw his girlfriend quietly lying on the bed. He shouted, only to see his girlfriend in a strained position to sit up, and then fell to the ground, and then began to twitch. And finally like a spider opened the limbs, she slowly crawled towards Yamamoto's direction, suddenly slammed open the door and jumped on Yamamoto's body, and kept biting at him. Fortunately, Yamamoto reacted in time and pushed her into the room. But the door was grabbed by one of her hands, and her girlfriend pushed against the door while sticking out her head to bite him. Suddenly she opened her mouth and bit down on the door panel in one go. A single tooth fell to the floor, showing how strong the girl's bite was, just as Yamamoto was just on his way here. Down scenes of planes flew over the sky. He also realized that something big must have happened here. He wanted to run away with his girlfriend, but he didn't expect her to be infected as well. Yamamoto desperately ran out of the neighborhood. He didn't realize that the street was even more dangerous. He tried to ask the police for help but they weren't police anymore. She twisted her body and rushed towards him. Luckily a female driver appeared and knocked her off. When he ran to the middle of the square, it was even worse than expected. Densely packed people are fleeing for their lives. Those who can't run away are bitten alive. He hurriedly stopped a car and was about to get in when a girl ran over. He turned around and looked back. Luckily it was a normal person. The girl looked behind her in horror. A white collar worker has turned into a zombie, but the habits of his lifetime are still maintained. For example, this duck on the door of the woman. Before life is a shopaholic. This running Yamamoto, before life is a high jumper, a bounce directly beyond the Zhang Guo Wei twice, just the end of the action is a bit brutal, the ground crawling this monster, by the mobile phone in front of you guys to answer, Yamamoto and the girl quickly got into a taxi, and told the driver to get out of here, when the news in the car began to report that the reporter said that the entire city is in an outbreak of zombie virus, just at this time, the driver's face began to burst up veins. The driver's face began to lesions. A foot on the accelerator to the end. The speed immediately came to 170 mph. Yamamoto rushed to tell the girl to the back seat to fasten the seatbelt. The girl has just sat her down. The driver turned his head on their evil dragon roar. Fortunately, the driver tied the seatbelt. The two people are still safe for the time being. But immediately, the car was rushed to the other car. <laughs> When they got out of the car, there was a serious traffic accident behind them. They took out their mobile phones and continued to look for information. They saw someone on the internet said that the zombie virus does not spread to high altitude. So they decided to go to Mount Fuji, which is 3,800 meters above sea level. At night, they found a shopping machine for supplies and then found a cabin to rest temporarily. But the next day, Yamamoto found that the girl's neck also appeared bite marks. He quickly raised his gun to shoot her, but the girl said, It's okay, I was bitten by a baby, but it didn't mutate. Yamamoto could not bear to shoot, decided to take her to see the situation, into the forest. The girl suddenly stopped in place and did not move. At this time, her pupils began to necrosis. Yamamoto to 80 PA speed wildly run away, running, saw a passerby was about to go up to ask for help. The results of that person also turned into a zombie. A moment of Yamamoto pounced on the ground, without saying anything, to pull out his intestines. At the critical moment, the girl rushes out and easily breaks the zombie's neck. Although the girl is starting to get sick, she doesn't seem to be completely sick. She's not aggressive towards Yamamoto at all. She even reaches out her hand and tries to pull him up. And with that, the two of them continue to move through the forest. They found canned food in a wrecked car, but the girl does not eat canned food for people. She is only interested in canned food for cats. To see the girl eat so well, Yamamoto could not help but taste a mouthful, but the girl is showing food protection expression. Yamamoto was scared and hurriedly returned the kiss to her. To people in the forest, long distance walking for many days. Finally arrived at Mount Fuji, has been hungry for many days of the two, decided to go to the supermarket to find some food. But here a person is not, quiet some terrible, he pushed the girl to a clothing shop, picked a jacket he could not afford to buy this life, thought he did not have to pay. At this time, the zombie clerk appeared, and they pounced on him to ask for the cost, but in a mask wearing a she's a survivor. She is a survivor here. It turns out that the information on the phone is a lie. Mount Fuji has also long been infected. Good thing the survivors hid in the building to escape. In order to deal with these zombies, they formed a small team. The people upstairs to make noise to attract the attention of the zombies. The downstairs of the woman took them all the way back to the base camp. And this seemingly safe zone is not safe, taking the underground. This woman frantically pulling on the mall door. Once a shopaholic, this man is even more bizarre. He was a high jumper before he was born, 
and it just kept practicing jumping every day and then fell heavily to the ground. But at this point, the survivors are running out of supplies. They have to head to the nearest supermarket to find food. And before they leave, the boss of the place looks at Yamamoto's shotgun. At first, Yamamoto doesn't want to give it to him. So they shoot the mutant girl they brought with him with a crossbow. When Yamamoto was grieving, a group of people grabbed it and threw him into the warehouse and beat him up. Then let him follow them with his bare hands to go out and look for supplies. They came to the supermarket. And there were really a lot of supplies here. And when they were frantically loading the bags, the supermarket speakers suddenly blared music. And a large number of zombies swarmed into the house at once. At this time, a man leisurely watching the monitor. It turned out that he is the previous power was taken over the dark man. He wants to take revenge on all of them. When the others saw the zombies rushing in, they frantically ran outside to escape. Only the male lead quietly hid in the wardrobe alone. The new boss who was leading the charge decided to take the fight head on. But he didn't get a single shot off and the loud music affected the zombies at the base. Only to see the high jumper, listening to his favorite music from his life, jumping to safety in one go. And survivors falling in his mouth one by one, the only survivor with a girl hiding in the corner. She used the walkie-talkie to call for help. At this time, only the hero heard her call for help, but outside all the zombies. Because of fear, he did not want to go to the death. He turned his head to look in the mirror, saw his cowardly self shed tears. He didn't want to go on like this, so he rushed out of the wardrobe, swung a fire extinguisher and smashed a zombie to death. Then rushed to lock the door and quickly picked up the walkie-talkie and said, I'll be right there. He went to the car park, scattered the candy he had prepared on the ground, slipped the walkers, and continued to run forward. He got his own shotgun back. At this time, the only two survivors also ran to the car park. They saw the vengeful man but they didn't expect him to start to harden as well. It's called a self-inflicted wound. The mutated belly man chased the two men all the way to tear. She will soon be caught up. The walkie-talkie came Yamamoto's voice. Bye. The three are ready to leave at this time and ran to the two survivors, but they also attracted a large number of corpses in the face of the front and rear of the congestion of zombies. The five survivors cannot run away. Yamamoto put on the headset and stood out. He wanted to use the last 90 rounds of ammunition to hit all the zombies here. He accurately knocked down one, then reloaded and shot. Lasted half an hour later, his companions also joined the battle, but the number of zombies is too much. Eventually, a few people still did not hold out. Some people in the last moment to pick up the ground iron bar and zombies with the death. Another sacrificed themselves. The zombies are attracted to create a chance for their companions to survive. And this once coward, this moment please call him a hero. The last surviving three found a car and left Mount Fuji. Now where they go, who knows, but along the way there are two girls to accompany. The hero will not be lonely again. <laughs>